Hello, right, bags. Welcome to a very special Gears of War podcast style type of thing. This is a different type of video for me. We're going to basically be just talking about Gears of War. Gears of War 4 is due in two days time, the 5th of October, guys. I'm super hyped for it. I am a big fan of Gears of War. What you're seeing in the background is the first 20 minutes footage. It's been circling around some of the media outlets. I really want to just get a feel for the game. I really want to talk about why Gears of War is great. So I've got a couple people with me. I've got a couple friends. Say hello to Missy and Dover King. Hello, guys. Hello. Up, dude? Hello. So we're big Gears fans. You know, we've played all the Gears. We've been there from day one. What does Gears of War mean to you? What are you hoping that this Gears of War is going to be? Oh, uh, I, I, I hope it carries on like with the, the epic storytelling. That's my my yeah. big hope for it. I'm just That's looking forward to ep epic co-op action and also horde ep mode. Horde oh, mode. Horde You're a big fan of horde modes. Now you see, I remember horde modes being brutal, trying to do the achievement for getting all the maps done in Gears of War 2. That was pretty epic, trying to get all that done. On, on, I think it, you had to get certain uh, waves complete on all of them. And I remember trying to do that one with my friends. That was one of the first times I tried to get all the achievements. Um, Gears of War 1, I guess, for me, was the first time I ever saw a YouTube video that I took notice of. I'd seen YouTube before, I'd seen maybe a couple games, I'd heard about people were putting games on it. But to me, YouTube was just for silly jokes. But I saw Gears of War on YouTube and it looked amazing. And it was the first time I'd seen a, an Xbox 360 game and thought, yeah, I'm going to buy the Xbox 360. That is going to be my console. I'm not going to wait for the PlayStation 3. That was due out a few months later or six months later. It was all about Gears of War. And the gameplay was like nothing else had seen. Even though I'd been a PlayStation 2 head, just seeing the way you could do stuff like this. Look, this guy's about to just put his eyes, oh, thing in him. That is the, the chainsaw, <laughs> chainsaw. It, it was. It's crazy. So what about you? When do you remember like how you saw Gears of War? Or when did you start playing it? What was your first greatest memory from Gears of War One? Um, I remember I was a PlayStation head when I was uh, growing up. And, yeah. Uh, my brother asked for an Xbox 360 for Christmas, and I was all on his ass. Oh, you should have got a PlayStation. Should have got a PlayStation. But it arrived at Christmas Day, and for some reason he didn't touch the console. So it sat there for a couple of days, and then I opened it, and it came with Gears of War. Just put it in the console, played it, and immediately fell in love with the, the series. I just couldn't get enough of it. That's cool. What am I about you, Missy? I worked in a magazine warehouse that had every games magazine going, so at the time I had every console available. Okay, oh wow. And um, I saw the screenshots of this and Lost Planet and I thought, I am getting the 360 when it comes out. My first real experience was going into multiplayer, I'd only had broadband for a week at that time. I went into multiplayer and the first thing I said on the headset, not knowing about active reload, was, um, why are you all wasting your ammo shooting your guns? You're just telling the enemy where you are. <laughs> I was the biggest nude going. And that was it. You needed a bit of control. You needed a bit of skill. Because it weren't like other shooters like Call of Duty or it weren't like other third person games. The active reload was something you had to master to be really good at multiplayer. Oh, oh yeah. Look, it was the first first game I'd ever seen a mechanic like that in. And it felt yeah. good to do it as well. Like, it felt good to get an active reload. Yeah, I can made... get active reload like 95% of the time now. I don't even have to look at the bar in the top of the screen. You just, yeah. you just know it. What do you feel effects. about, did you play the Gears of War 4 beta? Did you see the way they changed up the active reload so you don't have to waste your ammo anymore? I didn't want to play the beta, I wanted to save it so when I play through it first it's all fresh. Right, well apparently now when I played it as well, you don't have to waste the bullets, it kind of just pops up and as long as you hit it, it will give you that extra bonus. So that's what Gears of War, that's what the Active Reload was. So I should say for people, you know, if you're not a big Gears of War fan, if you've never really got into the game, 
don't carry on watching this podcast because this is clearly a love letter to Gears of War. You've got three people here that absolutely love and adore the game. Um, and it's totally cool if you don't like it, you're not that big a fan. My Gears of War um, beta sort of action from Gears of War 4 was okay. And I was actually sifting through Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition. I've, I've probably still got the videos on my channel somewhere. So you go look that up. I think I put about six or seven videos up. Um, it's it's definitely you know gears of war was a big game where i became addicted to that one game that was the only game i played on xbox 360 for a long 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 time you know it, it was only games like um maybe when called grand theft auto 4 not necessarily because i loved it but because everyone was playing it and um skyrim that's when I started branching out a little bit more with my gaming but otherwise it was Gears of War 1, Gears of War 2 all the way every night getting some multiplayer action in trying to do the story in insane mode were you all both big fans of multiplayer or did you only kind of stick to the horde and single player? Yeah. No, I, had a I, wasn't a massive, I wasn't a massive fan of multiplayer back then I, I absolutely loved doing the co-op mission with a friend I yeah. didn't get into multiplayer until they added horde mode for the second one. Yeah. And then that was something multiplayer that you could all do working to that on the same team. Yeah, joint effort. Yeah, I remember up the... Um, the... Go on. Um, up until then, I was... T up until Gears 2, I was obsessed with Lost Planet. That was my multiplayer right. that was that was your That was your, your one. the story do. on Gears is always amazing. Except for judges. Yeah, no, we're not going to talk about judgment. We've all agreed that judgment no, was just an awful, awful game. That's like Star Wars episode. Yeah, that's like Star Wars uh, The Phantom Menace. You know it's out there, but you just don't discuss it in the camera <laughs> as if it never happened. <laughs> um, you know what? We, we could definitely have a good old talk about why judgment was bad. But we'll just skim over the basics of that judgment was clearly loaned out to another company to make and it's not a bad company they made Bulletstorm so it's not necessarily a bad um, company because Bulletstorm was pretty cool um, but they they certainly put too many different um, tried putting in too many systems and the story was just shit like no one liked Baird I've never liked Baird as a character and putting him front and centre as the main character to me was a big mistake you know, it needed more heart yeah. and soul into it. I mean, we're looking at Dom Santiago in the background here, so let's talk a bit more about what's actually happening. This is oh, pre-emergent day, so, you know, this is the Locusts haven't attacked. Um, I can't tell you how excited I am for this. Like, uh, yeah. the emergence day is something that I have been contemplating and, like, thinking about ever since, like, Marcus and uh, Dom started mentioning it. You yeah. Know, like, the pendulum wars, like Marcus, that's what Marcus is, is apparently famous for, is fighting Yeah, he's the, the badass wars. of the pendulum wars. Yeah, and why is and he it, a badass? We don't know, we just know he did something awesome. And maybe we yeah. get to find out, and I cannot wait. I really can. I feel like... they showed a flashback of the origin today, I just thought, why can't we That would be cool. That would be cool to play in it, that's right. Yeah. The, the only thing I have a slight issue is with, uh, I think I, I remember playing... Um, or remember, was it the demo for Gears of War 4? Where it had a bit of information, or Gears of War 3, about why he'd gone to prison. Or maybe that, I can't try to remember what it was oh, now. Oh yeah, what, it was Gears what? 3. There was, um, there was like a flashback um, mission uh, that you play Did in Gears of War 3 that explains why you get court martialed and sent to prison. You basically, you basically <coughs> excuse me, uh, Mark says goes to, he uh, refuses an order. Uh, that's it. That's there you go. That yeah. was that was the one. I couldn't remember what it was. I felt that was a little bit slightly not enough for a court martial to be chucked in prison. Yeah. Like but no, war no, heroes. There's, like, there's a whole backstory. Like uh, apparently, like Marcus goes to save him, and then it's uh, Marcus thinks his father dies, but uh, the chairman uh takes his father who's very much alive away and puts him on that island and gets him to work oh, on that island. surrounded by that. storms and stuff and then yeah yeah you show up and the storms go away and then the queen mira shows up on her giant bee and oh, that's right that final boss your, fight yeah. that final oh, boss fight was me. harsh it was proper me harsh and Jim, we were turning the air blue on that boss fight <laughs> but it was 
As hard as it was, it took us a, a night and many attempts, but when you finally get it finished, that satisfaction is <gasps> unrivaled. Here we go, we've got emergency. Stage just popped up. Yeah, look at this. Lieutenant Kim, back alive, back from the dead. Oh. Um, yeah. That was also the first time I'd seen a real brutal moment in a game, like a story where a character gets, like spoilers, Lieutenant Kim gets killed quite brutally oh, as well yeah. in the first game. You know, you're feeling it oh, when he gets... Ram comes over and just stabs him with the chainsaw or whatever it was, or the, the sword. Um, this is crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was, how did you feel about the Gears of War 3, um, the, the Ram DLC? Did you play that one where you could be the locusts and, you oh, know, yeah, you were the, the and stuff? Oh, do was... you feel the power? Like, yeah. You feel the power as Ram. I mean, you walk around Missy and you just, like, you boom. Tom, you send your Tom, crew Tom. out to them, and yeah, yeah wherever it's, you go, it's you've got a crew around you of like different locusts, you know, different class locusts. Then you get your sword, and then <laughs> oh, look at that! Best thing ever, right? <laughs> oh, here's a corpse. Corpse, sir. <laughs> oh, now the trailer, the trailer, the Mad World trailer was also what sold me on Gears of War. Mad World. Yeah, and that was just a mate. Oh, was... Again, up until that point, we'd seen lots of goofy trailers for like PlayStation 2 games and you know Crash Bandicoot, you know whatever Warped and and all sorts of things and things like that. But I hadn't really seen it was before like not before Call of Duty, but Call of Duty still wasn't the powerhouse. It wasn't the the big all blockbustery type of game yet. It was still transitioning yeah. to Call of Duty 4. And so seeing a trailer like that and, and then thinking, oh my god, that is what the game actually looks like. It just was immense, just immense. So we've got the Hammer of Dawn here. The Hammer of Dawn, frustrating as hell. Try and take out that first Berserker in Gears of War 1. Um, sometimes you'd, you'd be smashing <laughs> yeah. the controller around. Like, ah, work, just work. I've got satellite signal. I'm outside, work. But it is epic. Look at that. The graphics. What do you think about the graphics at the moment? Then. So we're obviously looking. Um, it, it looks bright. It looks pretty colourful. As they approach that area, I thought to myself, didn't we have to fight up these steps? Yeah, before. Uh, yeah. Three. But we came no. from the other side of the street, opposite. I think from the top of that building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Well, yeah, when it gives one, where they had the embattlements and the, the just, troika yeah. gun. You had the, the troika gun on the stairs. Yeah. The building was a political building, though, right? Yeah, so I guess they maybe look a bit similar than the um, things. Well, but, um, it is the same building, but, you know, this is Emergence Day. The, yeah. The, the building, and then later on in Gears 2, um, or Gears 1, whichever it is, the demolition is done. You know what? No, it is that building. It is. That building. That it is. Yes, that it's definitely that building. He killed so many times. I wanted him to get him to cover over there, not ring around the rose here. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to get hopefully to see areas before they're wrecked and destroyed, and see them become that the state we saw in previous games. Yeah. yeah. And what do you think a, about this whole prologue? There. The um, the approach that they're doing, where they're showing us like the moments of Gears of War, because this is what this is. It's gonna go through this. It's gonna go through some moments from Gears Two and Gears Three. Do you think that's a good call for them to just remind people how great it was, or do you think it needed just to kick in with a fresh start? Man, it's it's a good idea because they're gonna reach um, like the the previous like three games. Uh, the time span. I mean, a lot of people that have Xbox Ones now will never have played a Gears of War game. So that's true. That's very true. You yeah. know, so it, it, it fills in. It fills in all those gaps, and it kind of makes their audience that much bigger. Right? Yeah, definitely. Ah, oh, boomers, boomers, one shot to the face with them, and you're, you're brown bread. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Brown bread. Have you noticed? Uh, I think they're playing as a female character too, which is a first for. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because you used to play Arno in the multiplayer, but that was it. You could only play Arno in, and the, the other girl. Uh, I can't remember what she's name was. Carmine's. No, it wasn't Carmine. Sent. I can't remember her name. No, she, but yeah. She was a new chick. Oh no, them look. It's a nemesis. And yeah, yeah. The thing I want to know is seeing this Arno with these new eyes on it. It's got me thinking. Yeah. Are we going to get to see Carmine's father? Because this oh. time Carmine will not die. 
Because That'd be pretty sad though. Rest of the Carmine clan. The yeah, yeah. Clan. So yeah, Clayton yeah. Like there were so the many game. of them that died. Always it felt like it was that. Uh, what was it? The film where they all go to war to pick up that one dude, Matt Damon. And uh, 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 that's like Private Ryan. Ryan. That's it, saving Private Ryan, saving Private Carmine. That's what it needed to be called. <laughs> Holy sugar! Look at oh, she's brown bread. Remember the Gears Two? Was it oh, Gears Two? He gets killed like ten minutes into the game. Headshot. Ah, oh, <laughs> you know what? So we've covered quite a bit of Gears One, right? You, you, this finish it up with Gears One. Your favourite moment from Gears One? Favourite moment. First time I took out a corpse. Probably the first time I cut somebody in half with my chainsaw. <laughs> I, I <laughs> think taking, taking Rama, because until that point, you know, I, I didn't come across a boss that was so hard, especially when you had it on harder modes. And that moment when you defeat him, I was like literally shouting out. Now this is really cool. This is Emergence Day off 17 days, 17 years after Emergence Day or whatever it was. Or 17 days was it? 17 years. I can't remember what flashed up there. Um, it was a bit interesting seeing Dom Santiago. How do you feel about seeing him back in the flesh again? Because I was going to say, from number two, apart from maybe the part where they go through the body of that great big massive beast, um, him and Maria's moment was just amazing. Oh. I cried. That was immense. So did I. So did I. No problem admitting I cried like a, like a little baby. I cried yeah. and I cried and I cried. Like yeah. If you've not seen that, go and look it up now. Dom meeting Maria. Just type that in Gears War 2 and it will come up with something truly, truly, truly moving, um, but horrifying as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can't overemphasize how powerful like the story was in this game to me. Like that's what it got was. me. It wasn't so much, you know, the, like the blood and the guts and the, the guns and the monsters and the explosions and how pretty the game is. Yeah, that all plays a part. But the, yeah. the backbone of the Gears of War franchise is the story. It's just yeah. It is just, it really is enthralling. Really. That character to your know. left is uh, Hoffman's wife. Sorry, Missy, go on, carry on. I was going to say, unlike a lot of games, the story isn't patronising to the intelligence of the gamers as well. Yeah. yeah. It's very, very much gun ho action orientated, but it, it just does it so well. It, it does breaks it. your heart. It breaks your heart. That it does break your heart. This Both looks pretty. Pads, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> this looks. This looks like the the hold where Hoffman and his wife were holed up when in Gears War Three, when you come on and you end up taking on the. I think it's the Berserker again. Um, he gets into the compound. Oh. I think it is. Berserker. Is that, is that Berserker, it? Berserker, the the Lambden Berserker. Yeah, Berserker. that's it. The Lambda no, one. From the because it from the beginning and it becomes a Zerker. No, I hate yeah. those things. Well, I spent was, years oh. mastering how to kill a Berserker. And then they go, yep, yeah, now there's a Zerker. It's a bit hard. It's like, oh, games. <laughs> and there's Hoffman. Good old Hoffman. I liked his voice. It was pretty cool. So, um, you know, oh, looking nice, at this, huh? everything's pretty colourful. It's got... Gears 1, obviously, was on a last generation. And it is a bit muted and grey. And even when you play the remaster, it's still a little bit muted. So seeing, like, it's some more vibrant grey, flame. Yeah, it's very cartoony, almost. Not cartoony, but... It seems very artist arty, if that makes sense. It seems quite colourful. Ah, oh, is that a Blue Max? Ah, oh, it is. a Blue Max. Oh, man, I don't need some Blue Max. This is crazy. Now, I, I quite like it. I like the transition. It looks bright, it looks bubbly. Um, the characters still look big and beefy. They don't look too realistic. They do look a little bit hyper and heightened. From, you know, that's what they were meant to be. They were meant to be super sort of human sized, and I'm glad they haven't tried making it too realistic or, or, or gone down that route. Oh my god, you see the corpse oh, on the mountain there. Corpse, yeah, 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 there's a couple of them. Oh, sugar. Oh, it's going down. It's time um, for a bit of Monty Python. Run away, <laughs> run away. <laughs> now, that bit in number two, though, when you get swallowed by the, the earthworm, whatever the hell it was. Oh, look, this is the moment the um, they get taken out by the. Uh, the grenade in number two. Oh look, it just decimates oh, him. So that's where Marcus has dropped it. From a different perspective. Yeah, oh, that's so how it affected the whole world. No, number three. That's number three. That is number three. That's how they do it, yeah, don't that's they? That's that tower you got to defend, didn't they? Yeah, and that's but, how they kill oh, them. that melted them, right? Yeah, no, because number one. 
I don't know, because no, because he's definitely. Remember, we left him at that compound. Him and his missus were fighting, and we went off to get the submarine to take us to the island. I'm pretty yeah, sure that was that fire moment. Up gears three, we'll go through. No, I, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I, I remember. Here's the saddest part in the whole in the whole thing, right? and, and this might stem to my daddy issues, but that's a topic for another day, right? At the very end of the game, right? Uh, when you when you at the very end of the third game, when you beat the queen and everything's over, your father announces that. Oh, He's there's, infected. I think that's your father right there. He, yeah, he announces that he had to infect himself to test this new pulse that will destroy it. And therefore, when he does do the pulse to kill all of the locusts, he will die. And Marcus is like, but I thought, like, the last time I saw you, I was trying to save your life. And then I saw you die in front of me, and all these years I thought you were dead. And then I finally meet you again here, and now you tell me you're going to die again. And then the pulse goes off, and his dad turns into ash, and, like, he puts his hand out and his dad like falls through his fingers. Yeah, that yeah, that was broke pretty my epic. Heart. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I thought it turned them all to ash. I think I slightly ruined number three for myself though, because um, I became really obsessed with trying to get the Onyx achievement, the Onyx badge of honor, wherever it was. And trying to get every oh, achievement for horde mode. <laughs> yeah, for everything, you, you know, yeah. full team of ten thousand. Yeah, waves. that's it. Ten thousand active reloads, whatever it was, one hundred thousand kills. Um, stupid stuff. Gears War has got some of the most brutal achievements you can find in gaming. So anyone that's ever got a hundred percent on them games, fair play to you, because I've never got that close to it. Um, but yeah, guys, the only company that does harder achievements has got to be Capcom. Yeah, definitely. Oh, They're evil. They're brutal. <laughs> they are brutal. But we're gonna. I'm just showing you the trailer, guys. Now over it, um, and you just so you get a bit more feel for it. Gears of War Four is coming out Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to us to Waffle On. If you like this type of content, if you like this kind of talking over games and rather than just necessarily playing it, but actually having a good conversation about it, I may do some again. And if you want to talk about some of these games with me, send me a message about what games you're looking forward to coming out in the next few months. And maybe we can organise something like this where you come on board the show and we have a little chat and just talk about it. Thank you, Missy. Thank you, Dover King, for um, chatting with me today. And we will catch you soon. Right, bye-bye. We all could use a second Goodbye. paralyzed.